Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. It's two versus the Overlords, and unfortunately, the Overlords' minions are retaliating against the Resistance. And we need to stop them. I, I just noticed this name right before I started recording. Operation Senseless Hero. Hopefully that's not some sort of omen about us being senseless. Now I am bringing a number of mine shields and um, that's because I specifically do have concerns that the warlock could be, you know, on site. And, uh, you know, better safe than sorry. So anyway, uh, I am bringing the Reaper, and aside from that, it's sort of the usual suspects. So let's go ahead and get out there and try and save some resistance. Chosen is leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Key. Folks says I'm not a bay. ton of cover. But also, not a ton of enemies that I see. Huh. Well, let's move go. forward. The aliens may have cleaned up the design, but these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. Archons? Wait. I don't get to see him. Yep, I don't get to see him. Okay. Moving to position. See, I'm... I'm not feeling good about the layout of this. And I'm not going to get a warning if I reveal those stupid things because he can't see it. Apparently, I must have just passed through one tile where I could see. And if I trigger him, having already dashed two guys, that's not going to go well for me. I got to get him out of the way. So where am I going? Do I stop here? Um, you know, do I, do I come over here? I won't be able to see anything ahead, but, you know, if somebody comes from over there, I might be able to. My fear, though, is what if that triggers those stupid archons? I'll come here. That's as far as I'm willing to go. Okay. Okay, well, actually, now that I've done that, uh, see, I'm pushing my luck. Every tile I move forward from that point, I could trigger them because I don't know the exact spot. I'm on it. That is always one of the challenges with this game. On your order. All right. Well, we're going to end up kind of clustered here. Solid copy. I don't know what to say. Heading out. Part of me kind of wants to be on Overwatch. But you want to know the truth. I'm not concealed or anything. And, um, Stepping off. My, so my Overwatch would have the full penalty. And um, we're not going to hit an Archon with Overwatch fire. All right. It is what it is. 
Okay, I didn't need that. Yeah, I, I didn't need for a Berserker to come at the same time as an Archon and Mouton. He's just gonna kill civilians, unfortunately. And unfortunately, him doing that screwed me because now this guy is totally gonna attack. He would have just wasted his turn on blazing pinions but now that we did damage to him, and by we, I mean that idiot, now I'm screwed. Awesome. Well, I feel like we just, it's way more certain we can take this guy out. So I think we go for him. Hold on. Okay. Can I... I'm just going to get in as close as I can. On the move. I'll have a much better chance of hitting with my shoddy. Where's the stupid... Yeah, there he is. I'm very flankable. But I, I have no chance to hit him. Okay, serious question here. No, nope, I can kill the resistance dude. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's a way that I could possibly blow his cover. Moving to position. I don't know that this is going to be a thing. Okay. I mean, I think I have to consider this because you can make a pretty good case. He's the most dangerous thing on the map right now because he'll throw he'll throw a plasma grenade potentially. Okay. Let me go back to my sharpshooter. I still can't see him. I think this crap is screwing me. Wow, you can't see him either. Oh my god, man. I'm probably hosed here. I don't think I'm going to waste a grenade to just take this out. That feels pretty stupid. So, let me do this. Um, I can't. <laughs> I'll see if I use run and gun, I could trigger another pod. I think what I'm going to end up doing here is killing no one. That's the path I'm on right now. I, I have to stop screwing around. Twenty-four damage is a lot for me. See, I don't really want to move forward because the problem with moving forward is that. Um, hang on, I can't tell. I think it's the archon that would see me if I move here. Yeah. Well, more importantly, that I would see. Uh, moving forward means his grenade just gets better. I have no chance at a crit. <sighs> okay, what if I come here? literally going to take most of my squad to kill this fool. It's 
so annoying. And he has nine health. Nine. That makes me so sad. I have three guys left. I mean, if I if I come all the way up, I still can't see him. All right, screw it. Let's just kill him. No matter what I do, oh, I could see him from here. I'm going for it. If I can kill the Mouton, it's going to be so huge. Hold on. Who can you give? All right. Well, let's go for it. I have a good chance to do it with this shot. But even if I don't, I've got this. And I've got it specifically because of the Reaper. So hold on, what's, okay, I can't see him from here. I hate to say it, I'm probably gonna end up giving the Reaper, excuse me, the Archon, a bit of a freebie. I, I am all in on taking this guy out. Now I actually thought I was gonna have a 100% shot there. Kind of a bummer that I didn't, but whatever. Okay. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. Okay. So the reality is, we did good work that turn. Got rid of the Mouton, got rid of the Berserker. Now we have the small task of taking out a Viper and an Archon before this turn ends. And of course, his defense and the Viper's dodge, it makes that a difficult task. Difficult, but not impossible. That's all I'm saying. That's not really going to do me any good. Okay. Um... I no longer see the Viper, which is kind of problematic. Am I mistaken or was it not over here? It was there or here. I honestly just don't remember. Okay. Um, you can't get far enough. Wait, what? What? Where? <laughs> so he's like on the other side of this. So if I came here, I'll see him. Okay, order. let me do this. God, I hope I don't reveal another pod. Well, there's a couple ways we can go here. I could go for the sword. Um, again, a slight chance that I could reveal another pod. Or I could do this and at least he would have no better than half cover. No matter what, you know, direction we're firing from. And the damage is pretty similar. I think I'm going to do this. Because I'm not interested in doing four damage or five damage. Like, I'm looking for kills here. 100%. And the Viper is definitely, you know, the one that I would most want to get rid of. I... Uh, that's annoying. So he would still have half cover. But at least it's not full cover. And 
I don't know that anyone other than the Reaper is going to be able let me see five to six what is the um, he has seven health so unless I use the Claymore which I'm just not I'm not wanting to do that I'm thinking we need to offset okay, hold on before I do I'm sorry I'm all over the map here um, you can't see anyone which is just phenomenal okay he has literally no chance whatsoever to hit the Viper I cannot get anyone in position to flank this guy. He's probably going to have the best chance to hit him. Heading out. So I will come here. It's a good chance. And I could get lethal damage if I get a solid hit. Enemy that did not up. qualify. Pretty sure that whatever chance I had had to get a pair of kills is gone. I just don't see that working. How in the hell do I kill this guy? Alright. Um, I'm going to do something that I really didn't want to do. I'm going to try because I have no chance of killing the Archon this turn. I just, I straight up don't see that. On your order. The Archon can flank anyone he wants to with his mobility and everything. Okay. Target neutralized. I consider that a successful maneuver. Now. We will order. do however much damage is possible. And this is the other thing. He has both dodge and defense. I mean, they are such slippery bastards. It's insane. Okay, I'll go. Come on, man. That's good. Every bit we get. Like, now he's kind of an easy kill next turn. Hey, maybe, just maybe. This is my last guy. Is it worth using a Claymore? The Claymore? That way, we don't have to worry about him flanking one of our guys, and he won't kill a civilian. I think given how dangerous they are once they're active, this isn't a terrible move. The fact that he has exactly eight health, you know. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. There's it's not like my preferred use, especially with the warlock on the map. I just remembered that. But, you know, one, one encounter at a time. That's all I can say. You know what I just realized, though? The Warlock's not on the map. I was expecting him to be, and Bradford said something about the, the Warlock or one of the Chosen. That's how he put it, but this is Warlock territory. 
that one of the chosen was leading this. But if the warlock was coming, we would have seen him at the start of the second turn because we were revealed from the very beginning. There was no, you know, uh, no concealment, no coming in with uh, shadow or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. All right, Reaper, uh, let's move forward. I go where I am needed. It's actually pretty fantastic that my Reaper did not get revealed during that fight. Hands. I didn't have to burn, you know, my shadow or anything. Oh, I need to reload, man. I mean, needs a strong word, but Moving out. next turn. Good to go. We'll make some headway for the moment, which is always a plus in my book. Now, I'm not going to move Move forward out. from this kind of line that I'm drawing with those guys. Double time. But anyway, yeah, good first encounter. I mean, we had two groups of all very difficult aliens coming at us from different sides. We could have been caught in a really nasty crossfire. That's awesome. Um, did not take a scratch. There were two resistance that died or civilians, whatever, and that sucks. I love seeing them do work like this. That is awesome, man. I am on the move. No, nothing yet. Um, hmm. This is kind of awkward. I guess I'll just come this far. So I still don't see anybody. Okay, so before we move, I hate to burn a turn, but I'm sorry. I'm not going into combat on low ammo. Now, I'm willing to kind of compromise here because I have five shots. You know, that's fine. And you got free reloads, so that's also fine. I will simply, you know, move as far as I can. Uh, you lost half your I'm ammo, loaded. so, and same here. Ready to engage. All right. Um, he's another one. He has five, so. If you say I'm so. pretty cool just coming over here and say, "Hey, look." I'm on it. If I can get a shot or two in, so much the better. And the rest of these guys, I'm just gonna Heading out. come up as far as I can. I'm on it. All right. Ah, faceless. Okay, it's funny. I totally was not thinking about that. Ooh, okay. The faceless may take some damage here because there's quite a few resistance in the area. Okay, so at least two berserkers. I mean, this is awesome. If he lives, this will be an easy kill. Get him. So awesome. That's at least two guys they've killed straight up. <laughs> Make it three. I mean, they're stealing all my ex experience, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to be too precious about it. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Um... 
Yeah, let me come here. I, I need to get a sense of... Nothing? Oh, brother. Okay. Oh, you know who needs to reload? I must reload. Okay. Um... Done. Let me see if I can get him. I, I cannot get him up. Okay. I am going to try to go up top. I mean, I think that only makes sense. Wait a minute. Where are you going? Oh, this is a little risky. Uh, I'll come here. We saw that berserker, and I'm just a little concerned. Okay. You know what, though? I don't mind doing that. And then you're probably too far away, right? Yeah, you can dash. But I don't want everybody on that side. Um, yeah, I don't know about this, actually. Ah, uh, whatever. Affirmative. We'll get most of our guys over there, and then I'll put him here. No, let's let's not. Let's not move forward. Roger that. Because that couple of tiles could be the difference, and we trigger something in that direction. It happens all the time. Look! Look at that! I would have triggered that guy. We don't know 100%. It's not unlikely. Shoot him to pieces, boys. This is the big weakness of Berserkers. Like, they have no defense and they don't use cover or anything. So, they're not the hardest guys to hit. I, I love that he just kicked the crap out of that Viper. Because they are kind of hard to hit. Two crits in a row. I wish I could recruit these guys, man. Do it. Okay. Um, I, I gotta be careful here. Okay. I'm gonna come here. Got it. Now, I'm not... Okay. Okay. Well, I admit, I didn't see that one coming. And it's really unfortunate that, um, you know, I don't have a uh, pistol. I have the hollow targeting. So I can either use my action to brace or I can hollow target or... Um, I mean, given that it's not, you know, he doesn't use cover... That's pretty crap. And I can't I can't get it to anybody else. So I don't think the grenade is good. I think we either brace or hollow target. Okay. Um sectoid. I'm just trying to consider my options here. You know what? The Berserker is pretty meaningless. The Sectoid matters. The Viper matters. I don't mean to be callous about the resistance, but if we're up here and we block the ladder, those Berserkers aren't really a thing. Okay, that was really good. I'm very, very pleased. I can't even tell you how much I want to use the sword on this guy, but you can't, I clearly can't do it. Okay. Um... Even if I could do it, by the way, I'm well aware it would be stupid because he would come and pound me into pudding. Okay. 
I will come here. Huh. We have a 42% chance. Let me think about this for a second. Four health. See, that's so bad. Okay, you're the last one up unless I bring the Reaper. And it might be a good idea to bring the Reaper. Because he could kill. Wait a second. Wait a second. No, no. <laughs> okay, that's just useless. I guess that's useless too. Damn. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I can't do it. I was hoping he's sitting next to this thing. I see. That's like their craft. Okay, look. I'm going to come up. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use Sting. Because why not? Actually, hold on a second. 57. I actually have the best chance with him. Oh, <sighs> hollow target. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. I'm on it. We have options here. Already 73. Okay, uh, I know what we're going to do. I'm going to use a hollow target on this guy because he's got the best cover. Now, one hundred percent. I don't get to see. Um, the Viper is the one I want to get rid of the most. You can't see the Viper anyway, so take the shot you've got. Okay, done. Target neutralized. Oh, and we got the hair trigger. Well, thank you very much. Bless your little heart. Was that good? I, I can't tell. On your order. Okay. Hold on. Because I feel like... Hmm. Let me just check something. You don't have 100% on him. Interesting. Okay, let's do this. I think he's got the stronger shot here. Alright, well, listen. Shot wide. I'll do this. Oh, sting, sting. Why burn my, uh, my shadow when I don't have to? Now, can we take you, Berserker? This is so sweet. I'm loving this. <laughs> All right, let's go after the other Berserker. Well, we're not going to kill him, but, you know, we can hurt him. Now, watch him leap across onto our roof. <laughs> I assume he's going to attack resistant. Yeah. Sorry. Now they get a little payback. Oh, 
Right, still a viper up here. Oh, there was a viper up there. I mean, don't beat yourself up. You, you guys have been doing work, man. They really have. They like. I wouldn't call this mission easy. I, I feel like it's gone well, and um. I'm on it. I mean, if I may say it, I do think I've at least approached it decently well, but things have kind of fallen my way. Um, but part of that has been that, especially back here, I mean, holy crap. You know, the resistance has just done an amazing job. I, I don't see any reason to hold back. Like, let's just get in here and kick some ass. I'm not positive, but I suspect this is the last guy on the map. Uh, do we want to get our Reaper the kill? Because Lord knows, you know, you reach a certain rank and I'm trusting you. it's really hard to get promotions. So, we'll see now. Is this it? Or is that not it? That's not it. So maybe that Viper has company? I don't know. I tell you what, let's brace and um Yeah, that's fine. I will reload. Let's do this. And overwatch. And let's move up. On your order. And overwatch. Moving to overwatch. And I'll reload. I mean He's got a ton, but there's no reason to not do it. I don't think there's realistically anything else I could hunker down, I guess. Oh, a wounded viper and the 50th berserker. Okay. Well. We got some damage in on him. That's pretty good, because he's at less than half health, and now these guys are going to go to work on him. Come on, boys. Don't let me down. You've been carrying my ass all mission. Don't stop now. I, I won't be surprised if they kill the Berserker. I don't know if they have anybody else close enough. Oh, he's at one health. Okay. Well, as usual, I have to do all the work around here. <laughs> That's a bummer. You know what I wanted to do was come over here and try to use run and gun to get a, you know, point blank shotgun blast on the Viper. But I can't flank no matter what I do. Uh, that said, I mean, there's no reason down. why I can't uh, come in and kill the Berserker. I do now. I just realized, you know, technically, I don't know for a fact that these are the last two guys. That would be awkward. Um. Now, I think what I want to do here. I need to uh, get rid of the Viper's cover. So let's, you know, do that. And this will leave him with just one health. Oh, actually, it could even kill him. All right, it didn't. Um, so there's a couple ways we could go. You know, screw it. Let's try and get him to kill. He's low level, and I did bring him here to try to help him level up. Sit. Huh? Wow, that was nice, man. 14 of 14. And I think we got 16 and 19 civilians, too. Um, I think this is one of those missions where they never got a shot off All at us. Gene therapy 
Because when they had the opportunities, they went after civilians. So again, like, I don't want to pat myself on the back too much because that's how they tune these missions where they go after the civilians. Yeah, we were never under fire. Um, 90%, 91% successful. Interesting that Marina did everything. She dealt the most damage, she moved the farthest, and she made the most attacks. And I am, the only reason I can think of why she made the most attacks is because she got that one extra action, you know, off the freebie. As long as there's even one Reaper left standing. So we only got one promotion, unfortunately, but, you know, everybody made progress. So, um, what's your deal here? Anti-venom stims. Supply of tossable, quick to administer anti-venom injection. Uh, provide passive poison immunity and remove any active poison effects from allies within a two and a half mile tile radius. May also periodically target an ally in range with a special adrenaline injection. Huh, that will remove disoriented, dazed, panic, or stunned effects. That's not bad. Uh, low profile. I like low profile. I do. I mean... You're often behind half cover, so, you know, just basically getting an extra 20% off of their aim, that's not, that's not bad. Smoke screen, gains one free smoke grenade. Okay, well, I'd rather drop a, <laughs> a bowling ball on my foot than take this, so I'm going to pass. Uh, I'm just curious, like, what is this? Sidearm specialist. Gain plus one damage and plus ten. Aim on attacks with your sidearm. Gain plus ten. Oh, that's right. I remember. I wasn't that impressed. Gain a grenade pocket. Okay. Um, it's between these two. So I like this quite a bit. Um... You have to remember you have, like, if you're going, let me think about this. How often do I get poisoned? Never, pretty much. Um, because I, I'm so aggressive about targeting vipers. Now, I say pretty much. Of course, I have gotten guys poisoned. It is a thing that happens. You could literally... Um, Target your whole pod, like right when you first start, you could do the whole squad, just use this effect and hit everybody, and apparently they're immune to poison for the rest of the mission. That's what it says, you provide passive poison immunity, and it doesn't say for a limited number of turns. It could be for a limited number of turns, because this is XCOM and you don't get told things, but... Um, May also periodically target. So this is the other part that's really good, though. Like, of course you can be disoriented. Of course you can be dazed or panicked, stunned. Especially now that we're fighting berserkers. So this is good. On the other hand... Okay, so... I'm going to tell you the pros and cons here. This... Getting shot at happens way more often than something like getting stunned or dazed. But the difference is this is good for everyone in the squad. Whereas this only helps him. So it's about how often does he get shot at? That's the only time it can help you. He has to get shot at and he has to be behind half cover. This, as long as he's in the squad, he can help anyone. I think I got my answer. All right, so because of that, even though I like this effect more, I'll go ahead and take this. They're both good. You can certainly make a case for buying the other one later. All right. We rescued 16 and 19 civilians. I do love that. 
Got a bunch of corpse, including another faceless. Um, you know, that reminds me. Another impressive effort, Commander. My oh, no, we can't yet. I was going to say we should be able them. to get a mimic beacon. Yeah, hold on a second. Just give the word and do we have to do a um, proving ground project? No, but I need a... I need a hundred supplies and I have 90. Ain't that sweet? Isn't that just special? I kind of love that in a really sick way. <laughs> okay. Um, where am I going? Psyken, what were you doing? You were trying to finish this. So Avengers let's go do that. All right, we got back one of our wounded our soldiers. soldiers. Took some hits during the most recent covert action. The uh, the medical team is they'll all be fine. Oh, brother, that's so funny. So, oh, this is a different guy. No, this is Hogbite. It's got to be. I just think it's funny. I had sent Hogbite on a mission to increase his mobility by one. I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was his health. You know maybe it was his health. Yeah, it was his health. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, this is huge. We need this so bad. Enemies drop additional loot items. Um, Shredding is such an issue for us right now. Can't do this one, although I'd love to give somebody an aim bonus. Okay. Um, facility lead would be good. We need a way to push the project back down and slow the enemy down. Gain resistance contact is another one. And I think, I think this is the one I want. Because we're stuck on growing, and that's more than just getting to facilities. That affects our ability to um, get more money. Call me greedy, but that's what I want. Oh, but I need to do this to use that one order. Uh, hang on just a second. When is the next drop? 16 days. Okay. So. How many days does this take? 10. You're killing me. And 7. I'm one day short. You're pissing me off. Okay. I'm going to do this so that we can take advantage of that resistance order in the next month. I'm going to gamble a little bit that we'll still have time to do this or gain a resistance contact. Hopefully I'm not wrong. <laughs> okay, so I need a soldier, and they don't get any kind of reward. You know, no bonus or anything. We got three Marines uh, clustered here and a fourth one there, so let's just send one of them along. Uh, he, okay, the guy who's not paired with anybody. And then <sighs> the will is one, like, God, who do I, who do I give that to? Um, what about somebody who has like, Heather has kind of low will, it looks like. You know, Marina's only 48. Jones sucks. Okay, let's do that. She's down at 44. So let's try to help her. And let's get rid of the risk of being wounded. So let's just grab, well, 
Not the skirmisher. <laughs> I did not think our um, skirmisher would be a squatty at this point in the game. I I thought we'd get a little bit better than that. All right. Moving grounds are ready, Commander. We can build the skulljack whenever you give the mm. word. Well, I have things I want you to do, and the skulljack. The supplies. The supplies. You're killing me, game. You're killing me. I'm not giving up 75 of my 90 supplies and tying this up for 20 days. I want, the two things I want more than anything are blue screen protocol and plasma grenade. Plasma grenade is number one. So of course I can't do it. And if I remember correctly, I can't go to the black market. Yeah, it's closed. There was a dark event or something. I'm so pissed right now. <laughs> it's staffed. Okay, I was just checking. Damn you. Okay, let's uh let's get over it. And then what I need to do is um I'm gonna go ahead and reassign somebody. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, no no, we're okay. So now we'll get it quicker. And more importantly, we'll get plasma grenades quicker once that's done. By then I should have money. Strategic resource located. Okay, very helpful. Very helpful. Supplies? Did somebody say supplies? Why, yes, I would like some. Thank you. Good to see guys coming back from their wounds. Commander, yeah, yeah, whatever. Work on the Avatar project. We should Shut your pie hole, Bradford. All right. So, what has Sykin got to choose from? One mission where we would get 195 supplies. We could use them. Intel, honestly, we don't need that much. Um... I don't know that I have a tremendous fear of this dark event. So I don't know that preventing that is that big of a deal. This one's a little harder to turn down. I, so to me, it comes down to one of these two. Get supplies just so we can um, get a mimic beacon, get blue screen rounds when they're ready, you know, and so forth. Or get an engineer. How badly do we really need an engineer now? Let's be uh, forthright about this. The power relay, wait a minute, the power relay is not staffed at all? Huh. Sykin changed that. Interesting. Okay, well, whatever. We could use some We're going to need two on the resistance comms. We still have to clear this out. Uh, but honestly, like we have four working on clearing, you know, this crap out. Oh, wow. He really stripped this bear. Okay. So there's something he wants to build. He knows we need resistance comms ASAP. And so that first slot we you know, are, as far as I know, planning to use it for that. 
Yeah, there's only one other wounded soldier. So I don't object to him pulling the engineer off the infirmary. Um, I'm just thinking, like, what is the other thing? Is he jonesing for a psionics lab or what? I'm curious. He hasn't said anything to me. Okay, well, whatever. I'm content to leave it the way it is. And I'm, le I'm going to leave this episode where it is. Um, when we come back or when Sykin is up tomorrow, you will see whatever choice he made as far as the gorilla op goes. And um, we'll go from there. You know, he might not pick one of the two that I was saying because he may see like the Lost Swarm showing up. That could be bad if you're, you know, in kind of a tough mission. So he may think stopping that dark event is more important. I, I'll be honest. I wouldn't necessarily object to any of the three. I think you could make a case for any of them. So I'm kind of curious to see what he goes for myself. At any rate, that is all for now. Hey, here comes Ray. <laughs> um, that is all for now. Just in time to say goodbye, huh, little buddy? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.